And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Jake Post. Jake Poss. Jake Poss is ranked 78th in his silver division with a record of 14 wins and 14 losses with 237 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the laggy, incredibly laggy. Red Terran in the Northeast up against Jake Foss. He is also a Terran player. He has spawned in the Southwest. The map is Blistering Sands, which I've had a lot of success on recently. I can't really explain what that is. Uh, usually it's because I go for the back doors immediately and there's nothing here guarding it. You always want to have something guarding it, be it a Marine, be it a Supply Depot, some other building, whatever it takes, you don't want to lose that. You want to keep that an eye on that. Supply Depot is on the way for me. His is a little bit later, but that shouldn't be that big of a difference, really. What is going on? Oh, I'm queuing up this guy. This guy here, look at that. It's a huge spider web. And this guy is, he's sending out his scout a lot earlier than I'm sending mine out. Well, not a lot, but he is not waiting for this guy to finish up the supply depot. He's sending one of the guys off the line. I usually don't do that because I just want one guy off the line at a time. As long as I have, you know, I want that guy there mining as much as possible. Barracks is on the way. His is a little bit ahead of mine once again. Oh, so uh, once again, I I've fallen apart in macro. Until there. Ha. Refinery is on the way. It is definitely ahead of his. He has not started his yet. There we go. So I am about 10 seconds ahead in terms of the refinery. As if he's just hanging out here, not really doing anything. Oh, now he's going to go in and start getting some scouting done. He will be able to see that my refinery is up. He selected my command center. That was, that was interesting. And now he goes to hide behind the grass. My guy is still queued up because I just want him running around as long as possible. But this Marine is on the way. I should get him out of there, especially now that an SCV is following him as well. Will I get him out in time? You'll have to wait and find out. Not getting any... Well, I have my gas fully saturated. His is not... And here we go, Marine does not kill the SCV. He survives with one hit left on him. I do find the SCV in the corner here, and I'm able to start doing some harassment on him. First Marine is out. He should be. Yes, he is able to take him out. This Marine is, or SCV is on the way back. Second Barracks is up for Jake Poss, and a tech lab going down on that first Barracks. What is going on? And a marine and marauder are being produced right now. Looks like he has fully stopped production on... Nope. And he's getting an SUV now. No, no orbital command. Of course, mine is up. And we're even in terms of the harvester count, but I am ahead in the income thanks to that mule that that orbital command does get me. And what are we seeing here? What? Is he going for an expansion? What's going on? He's going for concussive shells. Three marines and one marauder are going for a push here. It looks like it's a timing push based on the timing of the concussive shells. What's going on with these guys? I've never seen a... C and he's only got one marauder, so he's only going to be able to slow down one of my guys at a time. What what is going on? And look at that APM. Just absolutely smoking it. Really there's no need to do that. And then what oh Rizy gets there. Two more Marines pop out. So I will have enough to handle this and I back off as soon as that is done. But he does send reinforcements, this is an all-in push for him, but my two Marauders are out, and I am going to be able to hold this off. So he's forced to back off. He did still set the rally point way out there, so he has to cancel that all the way back down the line. 
And once again, never seen that. I don't know if that's ever been an effective strategy against another Terran player, because of course our units have the same range. I believe even the Marine, what is the range on that? Five and, oh no, the Marauders do have a slightly larger range. Longer, did I say longer range? It's a longer range and really, a six to five, that is incredibly difficult to kite. I don't know if he was ready to handle that. I know I am not. Um, if you just saw my last game, I struggled kiting a queen. That was pathetic. Oh man, it was bad. But, and I didn't even get to finish the queen off. And, you know, the Zerglings came out and killed my Marauder. It was not fun. Speaking of which, I do want to apologize. The last two games that I did broadcast ended up having this weird static in the background. I don't know what that was about, but I did reset my computer, and I have not had that problem since. Scan going down on my base. He is going to be able to see this entire army here. Usually a scan like that is what forces me to think, you know what, maybe I should start moving out. You know, he sees that I have an army, I'm uh, so I scan back. And I go, yeah, time to move out before he, you know, builds up an army to take it out. So if you're scared that I'm going to attack you, don't scan my army because it's going to make me think, hey, you know what, if he's scanning my army, that means he does not have an army of his own. Factory is up for him. He is researching siege tech, but no siege tank is on the way. I... I assume that's because, yeah, he didn't have enough minerals, so now that he does have the minerals for it, he will get that going. And, oh, it looks like he's trying to secure an expansion here, so he did move out all his forces out here. He's sending an SCV out, looks like he's going to be building a bunker instead, but I am pushing in. And I stim... Oh, what's he doing? He never stimmed! He does have it. See, look, he stimmed right there when there was just three Marauders left. Uh, one of them died almost instantly. So I re stim assuming that he's got more in his base, but of course he does not. So I take out one of the tech labs, and I'm moving in. Siege tech is just now finished. And so he sieges up, and boom, he's starting to do massive amounts of damage these guys will get one shot out of those marines so I just back off and I'm like you know what I don't need to take on that tank I can just take out these barracks you know I can take out the production here so he has to unsiege come back and I can see that tank there so I move over and he's only able to get one shot off with that tank before it does go down SCVs being pulled off the line I should back them off into this ledge my use, there we go. Back them off into the ledge. That way the, the SCVs don't get a complete surround. It looks like I'll be able to take off everything that's left here. Yes, all those SCVs did go down and I get a good game well played. Actually my first well played from an opponent after a game. I assume that's for defending off the push and taking out um, the siege tank. So that was definitely an interesting game. Uh, once again, macro falling apart because the game's over. Uh, shouldn't be doing that. I am still producing a marina marauder and expanding, but I still have no production facilities outside the three barracks. But that was the game. He set up an expansion inside his base? Okay. I don't like doing that, but yeah, it does have its uses. But there we go, expansion inside his base. He finally did get the orbital command. Um, so an interesting strategy. I've never seen a push based off uh, concussive shells before. That's why I wanted to show that game to you guys. Otherwise, this is pretty much a, an attack and a counter in game. But, you know, the micro on it was, was very nice from both of us, I thought. Um, him during our attacks, although he he did struggle a little bit with, you know, had one marine out in front and that would die real fast and then the marauder would get up. But I've never seen a concussive shells push before. I assume that'd be good on uh, zealots, but not on marines and marauders. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.